Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. In today's episode, we're going to have a go at photographing oil and water. So before I start, it's probably best to explain what's going on if anyone's watching this in the future. These were actually filmed during the coronavirus lockdown. I live in London and as of yesterday, we've currently been locked down for another three weeks. So there's plenty of time to play around and have some fun with your photography. So what I've been doing is just finding some simple things that you could do at home without having to go out that you can practice photography and get some really nice images. So what we're going to do today is we're going to photograph oil drops on top of water. It's a really simple setup, very easy, great fun to do, and it gives you something to do while you're bored at home. So let's go over and set up and see what kind of images we can come up with. Okay, so we're looking for something to do while we're at home and bored. And what I'm going to try and do this time is photograph some oil and water shots. These have become quite popular at the moment. So the first thing I've got here is just a glass cooking dish. This one's nice and clear. It actually comes from that Swedish martial arts company. Ikea! So we have our clear dish. I've also got a couple of books. We're gonna prop the dish above the tabletop so we've got a little gap underneath. Doesn't matter what books they are, I just picked these two because they were the same thickness. Two very good books. Though. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need our oil and water. So we're going to jug with some water and we're going to tip just a small amount of water into the bottom of our dish. Next thing I've got is just some cooking oil, some vegetable oil. I don't think it really matters what oil you use. You can use olive oil, engine oil. So what's going to happen here, as you probably learnt at school, or if you're a tanker ship captain, is the oil and water don't mix. So we're gonna put a little bit of oil in the water here. A couple of drops. And then we're gonna take our wooden spoon, anything really just to stir it, and we're gonna stir it around to try and get some oil bubbles. As you can see now, we've got some lovely oily bubbles on the surface of the water. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tablet, iPad, that kind of thing. Other makes are available. Okay, so I've just got onto Google and I've searched up abstract backgrounds and I found this nice rainbowy colour one. So what I'm going to do with the iPad is I'm going to slide this underneath our oil and water bubbles. And this is going to act as our background. I'm going to take our wooden spoon again and just give this a mix up so we get the bubbles, a nice collection of oily bubbles. Next up, I'm going to take the camera and I'm just going to photograph through the oil. And what you're going to find here is you're probably going to have to use manual focus so you can get the bubble sharp rather than the background. I've actually got a light on this lighting this up, so, which is causing some reflections. So I'm going to turn that off to just do some photographs. And now we're just using the light from the back of the head here to give us some background. We just move around and pick the bits that look good. And a lot of this is trying to get the bubbles in the right place where they look good against the background. Obviously the, yeah, the lighting conditions, how bright your pad is, how bright the background is, is gonna make a lot of difference to your settings. There we go, we're starting to get some nice looking images now. What we're doing, we're just shooting through the bubbles of oil on the water with the background behind us. I've gone to a nice wide aperture, I've gone to 2.8, so that we're trying to get that blurring of the background as well. So it becomes more of an abstract colour rather than a feature of it. And the bubbles of oil on the water are the main feature of what we're trying to photograph. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the background to find another image. Obviously goes without saying using oil and water near an electronic device. You've got to be careful. Don't go spilling the oil and water on your expensive tablet. I found another background image now. Let's put that underneath. Just take the images of the bubbles through the oil. If you're using something like a tablet, you can actually move the backdrop around underneath. This is really interesting. With this backdrop, it's giving almost like a sci-fi galaxy kind of look. Beautiful. And we get some really interesting images. I'm just gonna carry on like this, try a few different backdrops.
there we go. That was a really simple setup and something that most people could do at home. And I think we've got some really interesting images. Let me know in the comments below how you get on. I'd also like to know, is there any other little things you've been playing around with home? Any photo projects that you've been trying out? Let me know in the comments below and we'll see about doing a video about those. For now, I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. Please stay safe and well and we'll see you in the next episode. See you then.